Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome to a requested tutorial on creating TVs inside of uh, the Unity engine. So this is going off the backbone of the canvas UI with the splash screen of, um, of like a game logo coming up or pausing a video. So this is kind of similar and it's going to be used in the canvas UI as well, but it's going to be attached to a 3D object to simulate a TV and then that way you can same with the movie textures before you can bring in your own movie textures and put them onto the tv and then you can put an array of them and just do mad stuff with it but uh we're just going to be creating a basic flat screen tv uh that will display an image with the audio on it and uh what we're going to be using we're actually going to be using the same script um as the movie player and except we're going to be attaching it to a 3d object so this is going to be quite handy for people that want to have TVs in their scene or anything come onto a TV or on trigger enter and display something on the TV it just really depends what you want to do with it and uh, you just got to be creative and think of different ways but um, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up to get the TV working right so first things first we're going to create a 3d object of a cube and center it I'm just going to put it out here in front of my camera and then I'm going to scale the back of it down to make it flat and then I'm going to scale it across to make it more TV like and then just bring that up a little bit and maybe down okay so this is going to be essentially our TV uh, now once you create your TV whatever size it is you're going to right click on whatever your TV I'm just going to rename this to TV screen it's typing slow. Alright, so this is our TV screen, and then you're going to come down to UI and then go canvas. And you know this big massive canvas that you get, but that's not what we're, we want. We just want something that's the same size as this. So with our canvas selected, if you come over here, you'll see screen space overlay. You want to click on that and you want to go to world space. And then you're going to drag your main camera, so the main camera that can see the screen, into there. So this would be your main camera and your first person character controller or any character controller in general that you're going to be mainly using. And then what we're going to do is we're going to resize this to one, oh, sorry, one, one. Um, so realistically that should be the same size roughly. So stretch that out to there, make it a bit smaller to have a bit of bezel. Gonna go into 2D mode for a second so I can position this nicely. So that's center, and then generally you have something like this. So dun dun dun. Then you're gonna come to the side. Or sorry, uh, once you have that, you're going to display then your raw image that, that we used before onto that. I'm just going to size one, one, whatever, just to make it here, and then you're just going to stretch it out to the full size of your candle. Actually, you can do this. If you come here and you press Control, Shift, and Left Alt, it will center it and anchor it and reposition it to the parent object. So, the size of that, it'll parent it to the same object. So, now we have our TV, and whatever size that TV screen goes, or in our scene that will be it so it's fitted now what we have to do is get our raw image and come around to the side and get that I'm just gonna change the color of this to black just so it's easier to see um, I'm also gonna drag this here um, okay so we're on the side and I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit until I see be black on the front unless it's black on one side it's not showing black on either oh that's because i never selected black properly there we go right so we have it there in front of our screen but i'm gonna try and make it just as close as possible 
and that's probably as close. You're, you're generally going to have, if you're making a 3D model of a TV, you're going to have an indent in your screen, so you won't be able to see it from the side. You'll only be able to see it from the one side. So, let me put my game view back up here. So if I use my scene view, this is where our image is going to be, and then on the back, this is the back of the TV. And then we're just going to, I'll go over the movie player script. So this is the one that you can download from my website, and then uh, this is a link to the t or to my channel. Uh, so you can download this from my website if you don't want to type it out. But uh, basically, we'll have these two public or one public and one private. And there's a public for the movie texture, which is where we drag what movie we want to display on this raw image. Then we get the component of the raw image. So uh, the raw image on the raw image that we're attaching the script to will use the movie texture, so this, and then the audio is getting components of audio source, so this private audio source here, and we also have a, a required component of type of audio source. Uh, sorry if this isn't making sense, but uh, this basically says that we need the audio source as part of a component, and audio is getting the audio source. And then audio dot clip equals movie dot audio clip so the movie textures audio will be placed here and then we're just playing the audio as the movie plays at the same time uh, that probably sounds more complicated than it actually is but it's generally really simple and then we just have down here um these are just the pause functions that we get when you download the script anyways that's just in the script but you don't have to use that so if I go and drag that script onto the raw image so I'll put this as TV image and then it's asking for us to put in a movie texture and I'm gonna go here to my movie texture I'm gonna use this animated one and then I'm gonna put the screen back to white so we can actually see it and then if I click play, for some reason I feel like everything's going to be inverted. So yeah, there, there's our movie texture on the screen. And then if I actually... That's very flat. It just looks like canvas UI there. So if I move this to the side and rotate this. So that this is your player on the side view. And I click play. You can see that it's part of the game object and then you could literally sorry that's very loud okay right then you could come in here to the TV screen and then you can literally position this wherever you want in your level so if I open up the game window here and then like you could be able to position this wherever you want in your level and then in the game view, if you press P, it pauses the whole thing, and then if you press P again, it plays it. But you can do other things with that, but that is basically how you make a TV using uh, Canvas and raw images. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Um, if you have any questions or if you need me to recreate the tutorial and go slower, I will. Uh, the script for Movie Player is on my website. The link to that is in the description below. Um, or not that's pretty much it guys so just a quick recap you have your 3d game object of a cube that I've stretched out to make it look like this a canvas which was changed to world space with the main camera component in here and then fitted to the size of this rectangle or our TV screen and then on that canvas we have our raw image which is stretched and anchored to the full size of the canvas and uh, then we have the audio source which automatically got placed in because it's a required component and then we have the script here with our movie texture on it and you don't have to have any texture here if you don't want to but I wouldn't recommend having a texture there just leave it the way it is and excuse me so that's pretty much it um, hopefully this tutorial helped you understand how to work with uh, movie textures and how to create a TV. So until the next tutorial, guys, I'll chat to you later. Adios. Uh, sorry, just one thing I forgot to say actually before I rendered the video. Um, on that 
uh, TV image, you can come over here to uh, audio source, and then you can change the um, you can change the blend from 2D to 3D. So no, depending on where your camera is placed, is how well you'll be able to hear it uh, distance wise and then you can come down here and you can change the listener for how far you can hear the TV away so if I change I just change that to 3d there and then if I move the whole image it just depends on how far the image is away from me so you can change everything around and stuff but uh, yeah, that's just a quick keynote, right? I'll talk to you later, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Adios.